was feeling really cheaped off. Yeah, he felt, man, I should never have lost this race with the tortoise. So what he did? One day he rang the bell and said, Hey tortoise, you want to make another race? <laughs> tortoise said, yeah. He walked towards the podium. And he said, come on, let's go, let's race. And what happened is, as the bell rang, the tortoise started walking like what he did in the first time. But this time, the, the rabbit was determined. He didn't want to go and take a break. So he ran from beginning to end. And the moment he reached, he rang the gong and he said, I won. And he could see the poor turtle, tortoise walking slowly. Okay, so remember, round two, who won? The yeah. hair one. What's the story here? So that we learned from the first time. You learn from your mistake. Play to your strength. Play to your strength. Don't be complacent. Okay. See who your opponent, opponent is and plan accordingly. Okay, got it? And tortoise continue to see this. Yeah, so the tortoise became very unhappy. You know, the tortoise became very unhappy. So you know what he did? He hatched a plan. So one day, when the rabbit was sleeping, he went and said, Hey Ravi, you want to race? What do you think the rabbit said? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go. So the tortoise told him, this time, I want to try a different route. This time I want to try a different route. And he says, we will run from here to the point and the rabbit jumps for it. He says, yeah, sure, I'm ready for it. Let's start. So they come to the starting point and as usual, the gong goes off and the turtle starts. What does the rabbit do? He runs till he finds something big. What does he find? He finds that to, to reach his finishing point, he has to cross a lake. Not a lake. What a? Pond. Not a pond. River. River. There we go. He's only got it right. So look at it. The tortoise is still crawling. But the rabbit is so fast that he has already reached the river. But now he has a problem. He can't swim. He can't swim. So he's stuck there. And what is the thing burning in his heart? He keeps looking around. And who comes into view? The tortoise slowly comes in. He comes in. He looks at the rabbit. Gives him a big smile. And what does he do? That's it. And then he starts with me. <laughs> now, the rabbit realizes that look, this race has been won by the tortoise. What's the moral of this story? Each has a different skill set. Change your... Each has a different skill set. Uh, if one thing is not working, change your... Uh, change the strength. thing to play on your strength. 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 <laughs> when you choose your competition, choose it. Wisely. Wisely. Who chose the wrong competition here? The, the hair. He was actually playing on his strength, but he was competing with somebody with whom he shouldn't have engaged. Okay? Now, look at this. As they all raced multiple times, they became friends. Who became friends? Hair and the tortoise became friends. And they said, buddy, why don't we do this together? <laughs> so they said, let's partner together. Let's not compete on all these races. Hereafter, if you want to go somewhere, I'll carry you on my back. Because at the end of the day, we both eat the same grass. And guess what? There's a lot of grass on the other side of the river. So the tortoise looks up and says, if you see such a situation, you can take a ride on my back. So from that day, they both started working not as competitors, but they started working as team. 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 So what's the moral of the story? Team. Team. If you work with people who have complementary skills, 
not only do you win, but yeah, the other one also win. Okay. So remember this very very simple story. But so who walks like this? Tortoise. This is a tortoise. Who walks like this? Okay. So thank you. That's the first story that's getting done. Yeah.